Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about R Markdown. So what is R Markdown? Uh, let's suppose you have made, you have done some analysis, right? And you want to convert this into a proper report. You want to uh, publish it into a proper uh, like report or a document, right? You can do it with the help of R Markdown. So R Markdown converts your code and documentation into a very effective document, right? So it's called R Markdown. So first of all, uh, I'll be showing you little uh, points about the R Markdown, then I'll be showing you a demo of it. Currently, you can see in my screen, I've already have opened up my R Markdown file. I'll be showing you how we can create one of the R Markdown file, right? And I'll be uh, showing one, one implementation as well. Let's go further. First of all, let's check out uh, what is R Markdown. First of all, it's a simple and easy to use plain text language used to combine your R code results from your data analysis into a sing single nicely formatted and reproducible document, right? So that you can show this document to your immediate boss, your colleague, your supervisor, right? So we, uh, although generally we use the MS Word to create a, uh, create a project report or project file, so it's another alternative we, got, we get in which we can combine our code and text together, right? So we can create a wide, wide variety of output formats with the likes of PDF, HTML web pages, MS Word and many others from a single R Markdown document. So uh, the R Markdown uh, document consists of three major components, a variable header, formatted text and one or more code chunks. If I can show you from this uh, example, this is my YAML header in which we have all the information available about the title, author name, date, output format. And this is the uh, documentation section available where you can add some documentation as well followed by we are having some uh, section of our code as well we can also add some codes some plots over there so we have got three major components a yml header a formatted text and one or more code chunks so this is the example of the yml header which i also shown you on the r studio server so currently i'm using the r studio server i'll be showing you a demo over there only so first of all let's check out that how we can add the text to our uh, R Markdown document and how we can create the one one document uh, uh, including everything all these uh, R code sections and this uh, like plots and everything together let's let's get started first of all uh, we start with the text means how we can do the formatting of a text we have a multiple options available first of all you can see it here if you are want to have the bold text in your uh, document right you have to need to prefix your text with the double asterisk and you need to uh, end up you have to add the suffix as double asterisk if you want to have italic then you have to uh, like uh, uh, enclose your text in the single asterisk and if you want to have strike through we can do it with a double tilde sign as a prefix as, as well as as a suffix if you want to use subscript you need to use this cap symbol and if you want to use a subscript superscript you need to use cap symbol you need to use uh, if you want to use the subscript you need to use the tilde sign so these are some of the uh, option you can try and this is the sample text which i'll be adding to my uh, r markdown document right in which everything is available let's let's start it uh, here first of all how to create a r markdown document simply go to the file menu go to the new file and click on the r markdown here, here you need to give the uh, some title like that's my uh, my report maybe let's suppose this is my title i'm giving by default author name is uh, filled and date is filled and by default the format is html it means it will be published into a html document press ok and you'll be having this uh, new template got created the good part of the r markdown is that we don't have to write everything from a scratch it will be giving you one template you need to override that doc, uh, template to get your uh, things done right so this is the this is my yml header this is the section of documentation at behind uh, and the bottom of this uh, section we got the codes available where we can add the r codes so let's get it started first of all let me add a sample text here uh, so that you can see the difference okay what i'm saying about this uh, how we can put the things in bold italic and everything let's see it here so i'm, I'm adding this in my r markdown section so i'm using uh, i'm just overwriting this uh, uh, default script here with this with this okay how we can check the uh, output okay we can check the output with the net so we'll do we'll be doing this at the last we need to click on the net and we need to uh, uh, specify uh, at what location you want the output in which format document file pdf format or html so we've added this now moving further next one is if you want to have multiple heading types let's suppose if you want to have bigger heading you need to use single hash if you want to use smaller heading you, need to, you can go with the double hash so it's for heading so let's also add this as well so we'll see later on what will be the uh, output right 
So I'm added this as well in my R Markdown document. And let's move further. This is how we can add the comment in the R Markdown. So this is uh, the way, like uh, less than sign, exclamation mark, double hyphen, then your uh, comment, then again end up with the double hyphen and greater than sign. So just I'm copying and pasting this into this section also. It's also a part of your uh, documentation section. Moving further, if you want to add some list, Okay, this is the example of unordered list. This is how we can add the unordered list in your R Markdown document. So I'm uh, straight away I'm copying this into the again documentation page because till now there is no code available, there's no R query available. We're just going with some documentation, and this is the ordered list in which you can see one, two, three, four. This is the ordered list available. Okay, I'm adding this as well in my uh, this thing. Okay, still I haven't saved this. Still I haven't run this. I'll do it in one shot. Later on, then if you want to add some image, let's suppose I want to add some image, you can do it with this exclamation mark in a square brackets, right picture and give the uh, location of the picture because I'm, I've, I'm having this picture in my home location. So I, I don't have to give the complete path here. So I'm adding the picture here. Okay. Now moving further. Now, if you want to give some links, some hyperlink, some URL link, so I can do it with the this one. So here I'm giving the name of the link as YouTube channel link. This is the like uh, major keyword link in a double brackets. And this is the link you have to give. I'm giving the link to my channel, my YouTube channel here. I'm copy and pasting on this as well. So it is done. Moving further, now I want to add some code chunks. Okay, I want to let's suppose have some very simple queries of R in which I'm just creating a data frame uh, using two columns X and Y. So let's let's add this as well. So I'll be adding this in my code section. This one. Okay. So instead of having this summary card, it's the in inbuilt uh, uh, like uh, uh, part of this template. So I'm just replace that with my own data frame. Now, how we can add the figures? We can add the figures in the uh, figure section in which again I want to draw the plot correspond to this data frame right so let's add this as well so it's quite easy actually like once you're done with your works you simply have to uh, add in this in your uh, this uh, do document right at last is I want to add tables also okay I want to add tables so for that we have a one package available uh, knit r and you need to use cable function k a b l e so i want to print the tab, uh, table of iris data set okay so i'll be having this as a separate section now so separate section so we need to enclose this with the double ticks let me check it out uh, take it as well so let me copy again i just forgot to uh, enclose this in a this one this is important to have okay uh, you can see this uh, three times this one this is very important to have it's it marks the beginning of this okay so we have done this okay everything has been done we have added everything right from the document uh, some text some headers some uh, some kind of uh, bolds italics some ordered list unordered list picture a, a link right uh, a simple sample r code and some plots as well followed by a table now let's uh, save it now okay click on knit when you click on knit it will be okay First of all, let me show you what are the options available. I can knit to a HTML, I can knit to a PDF, I can knit to a Word also. Let's let's knit to the HTML first, in which just give the name. Maybe a name is maybe uh, my project dot rmd. Okay, this I have saved. Okay, you can see it now. It's now showing the output here. Okay, just check it out. My report. It's very uh, first title. Okay and R markdown this is the sample the part of the uh, original uh, you can see it here it is a part of the original template let me show you R markdown is written already there R markdown with a double hash and I have uh, also added the unboxing big data multiple times you can see it here UBD coming in the bold letters UBD in the uh, uh, this uh, italics we got uh, subscript superscripts available here also this one uh, 20 centimeter square all right we have an unordered list, ordered list. We also have added the image also. I'm adding I'm adding the image of Bollinger Band here. And I'm also having the codes of the R plus the plots as well, including the table. So this, this uh, actually, you, you can see now, it's quite effective uh, output I got, right? In the same way, you can do also one thing. If you want to have it in a document file, click on knit to word. So if you can click on knit to word, you can see it here, it has been, uh, uh, done you can download the file now and check out this my pro dot docs it's been uh, generated let's check it out what kind of output we get from here the same thing whatever you are looking into the uh, into this uh, html document the same thing will be available in the 
document file as well okay it's been completed i'm opening up in front of you and you can see it here i got everything in the document file you can see very effective uh, with the with the lesser uh, hard work right we get very effective uh, document here right so i hope you must have understood this little point it's the first video of the r markdown i'll be showing you next video how we can generate the dashboard using r markdown thanks for watching guys see you next video